Welcome to the May 27th public hearing on the interim superintendent's proposed fiscal year 2021 capital improvement plan. The meeting is now in session and is being held by electronic communications using Microsoft Teams due to the COVID-19 pandemic emergency. As you can see, my board colleagues and staff and the interim superintendent are participating in this public hearing virtually to protect the community, staff, and board members. And I apologize for the delay in getting started as we were um, we had our first CIP work session prior to our public hearing and it went over a bit. I ask that you now all join me in standing to recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag of, the United of the United States, States of, America, of America and, and to, to the republic, republic for which it stands, stands one, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. We are holding this public hearing to receive input from the community as we prepare for our fiscal year 2021 capital improvement plan or CIP. Um, and I have been informed that no one did an early sign up. And as of this moment, no one has walked in to speak. We were hoping to introduce our call in process tonight as we will be using the system for public comment on both agenda and non-agenda items at our future board meetings throughout the closure. Therefore, we will have our first trial run at our June 4th school board meeting. If all goes well, we will continue to use those at the following meetings. For this new call-in speaker process, we do ask that speakers sign up online prior to the meeting. This allows us to ensure um, the time that we will be putting speakers into the meeting and providing them the call-in number that changes for every board meeting. So please, if you want to speak at any future board meetings and you want to use the call-in speaker process, we ask that you sign up earlier in the day for the evening that, for the meeting that evening. When you sign up, you will receive directions and the phone number to call to join the meeting. For future board meetings, when we're doing this, we will not be having in-person public comment. Um, but by law, we are required to allow access for all of our public hearings, which is why I'm here in the boardroom this evening by myself, while my colleagues and our staff are participating virtually. Um, I did want to share uh, that we did receive some email communications, and we want to thank all the community members who have sent messages to the school board with your input on the proposed CIP. I'd like to share a summary of the comments we have received in writing through emails and the online budget comment form and in phone messages we have received. Um, we did receive one public comment and um, it was referencing, uh, it was referencing um, the need to put trailers all over the playgrounds and fields to ensure that schools reopen full time in the fall of 2021. So regardless of where we are in the pandemic, this writer is asking that we make sure that we do everything we can um, to ensure that we're able to open schools, even if it means um, putting using trailers. And I think that's something that we touched on briefly um, at our budget work session. And that was through our public online public comment process. We also received a few emails. And since March, and um, as you all know, uh, the we, we included the emails regarding the animal science project, which was a matter just in March, which is directly clear, tied to the career center concept design, which is tied to our CIP process. So I will start with those. Since March, the board has received nine messages related to the career center. That includes four related to the animal science program, one on the recommendation um, regarding the delay of the construction, one from the Arlington Tech Advisory Committee um, referencing the recommendation to delay construction and the concerns uh, associated with that, specifically ensuring that our Arlington Tech students have the amenities um, required as well as our Career Center students having those amenities required um, at, any, at any program uh, regardless of the delay. And we received two on the concept design um, and one from the Arlington Heights Civic Association on the use permit amendment for the Career Center. The board has also received four messages on the CIP since January 2020, one regarding the Boston's Macy's lot for sale, one from the Aquatics Committee, one on the potential use of county land for APS facilities, and one on addition of trailers in the fall to allow for social distancing instruction. Um, 
and maybe that is what the public comment was referencing. It, I skimmed it um, for this summary. Uh, I want to thank our deputy clerk of the school board, Ms. Mercado. She uh, graciously and effectively provides us summaries of all of our public hearing comments, as well as um, all of the emails received to many of, of the actions and the work that we're doing. So that is the summary of what we've received so far. We do encourage you to continue to email us your feedback, questions, and concerns on our CIP process. Um, and actually, questions would probably go best through the engage, but feedback or concerns you may have. And um, I want to also share that uh, we appreciate, again, your support for Arlington Public Schools. We're going to continue our deliberations over the next few weeks and encourage you to continue following the CIP process. We're going to be holding another CIP work session tomorrow from 5 to 7 p.m. Um, and a third work session on Tuesday, June 2nd at 5.30. The work session tomorrow is a change. We originally scheduled a CAL, which was going to be on the CIP, but considering um, the recent information we received in the Career Center concept design, we um, changed it to a work session, so that'll be from 5 to 7 p.m. And at our board meeting on Thursday, June 4th, we will present the school board's fiscal year 2021 CIP. We will also hold one more work session after we present our proposed CIP on June 16th, and we'll vote on our fiscal on our final fiscal year 2021 CIP on June 25th. There will not be a public hearing on the school board's proposed um, CIP, as that is not required by law, but we will be able to, again, accept um, public comment by our call-in process starting on June 4th. And um, from that, I just want to ask if my colleagues have any questions before I close out our public hearing regarding our CIP process um, and our comments received. So I'll just go uh, through each of you. Mr. Goldstein, do you have any questions or comments before I adjourn our meeting this evening since we do not have any speakers tonight? No, no questions. Okay. Dr. Cannonen? No questions. Thank you. Ms. Van Doren? I don't have questions, but I do want to make a point of clarification that uh, I wanted to make in the last meeting. A cow for the general public is a committee of the whole. That is when the board meets Thank to you. discuss an item in preparation for a larger, broader discussion that frames the issue. It's called a committee of the whole, and the acronym is cow, just for the general public's understanding. Thank you, Ms. Van Doren. I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. um, Ms. O'Grady? No questions. Thank you. Okay. So, with that, um, again, we encourage you to continue following our process and encourage you to continue providing us feedback. That completes our public hearing this evening, and this meeting is now adjourned. Thank you all.